Hi, my name is Chris Wilcher. I'm with Steve Landers Toyota, and today we're going to talk about the new 2015 Toyota Tundra. Uh, the new Toyota Tundra has uh, been newly redesigned on the interior and the exterior, uh, mainly based on customer feedback. Uh, Toyota actually listened to the customer and just wanted to know what they need to change from the previous generation to this one, and so they did. The new Toyota Tundra it comes, it comes with a 5.7 liter V8 engine. It's going to have 381 horsepower and 401 pounds of torque. Um, it's going to, and that's at 3,600 RPMs, uh, which is going to have an immediate throttle at your disposal for, for sheer performance. Also going to have a six-speed automatic transmission and a 4.3 uh, rear end. Now that's big when it comes into towing. Uh, the 430 gears to get that in an F-Series truck, you're going to have to go with more of an F450 and not even a three-quarter ton, but you're going to have to go all the way up to a one ton. Uh, the 2015 Toyota Tundra is going to have a couple of different things that separates it from other half-ton trucks. Uh, one thing is the engine oil heat exchanger, which I think is very important to when it comes to, uh, to the quality and long-lasting of your vehicle. Uh, the first 30 seconds of runtime is usually when you get the most damage on your, on your engine of your truck. The reason why is because a lot of people start it up and then they just take off immediately and throw it into gear. What that engine oil heat exchanger is going to do, it's going to make your vehicle warm up and get that oil a lot warmer, a lot quicker. Um, also in the summertime, it keeps it cool as well. So when you're driving down the road or if you're towing, uh, it does have an engine oil cooler and a transmission cooler as well to help with the, uh, with the longevity of your vehicle. Toyota Tundra's triple tech frame is going to be con consisted in the front of a fully boxed frame, which is going to have to do with safety. It's going to definitely help as far as the frontal impact. In the center, it's going to have a closed seat, which is going to help with flexion and ride quality for the driver, the passenger, and the occupants of the vehicle. And in the back, it's going to have an open seat chassis, which is really going to help with the flexing of the bed when you have a load on it really good for towing. A lot of uh, half-ton trucks uh, of our competitors have all fully boxed, which it's gonna, it, most, most trucks do go with that. Um, the, the real downfall on that is when it comes to towing, um, if you do put too much of a load on the bed, it can actually torque the bed if you do, and, and it won't, won't be any flexing. So if you bend that frame, pretty much totaled your truck. Uh, the Toyota Tundra also is gonna come standard with a fully integrated backup camera. It's gonna be displayed on the head unit inside the vehicle. Also comes standard with tailgate assist. It's gonna be a lot easier to open and close the bed. Uh, one thing on the new generation Toyota Tundra, they've actually taken the four and seven pin connector from down here and they put it all the way up here. This is real great. Also I wanna to touch base on the tow hitch. Now the tow hitch is tied into the triple tech frame about almost three feet into the bed. Uh, it's actually got 16 bolts, eight on one side, eight on the other. What that's gonna benefit is if you have a rear impact and get, get hit in the rear, it's actually not gonna fold up like an accordion. That's actually a safety feature that's very much overlooked on the Toyota Tundra. Most other half-ton trucks, it's just got about three or four bolts just bolted on the back of the frame. On the front and the back also has a three-piece bumper. And the reason why they did that is really for cost efficiency. Uh, say if you do have a rear front end impact, uh, what that's gonna do, you know, maybe you only have to, when you take it into the body shop or the dealer, you might only have to pay for one or two pieces. So it's just instead of the full, uh, full bumper, which is actually gonna help you, uh, your pop pocketbook out a little bit. Uh, this is actually the Toyota Platinum Edition. Uh, it's actually gonna come with a 20 inch alloy wheel. This one has uh, Bridgestone tires. One thing I want to point out right here that's very important, it's going to have a trapezoidal suspension. Uh, the importance of that is if you have a load in the bed, it's going to keep the bed a lot more level and keep your ride quality superior. Also, the Toyota Tundra does come standard with trailer sway control. That is uh, something that's come standard on all Toyota Tundras. Uh, just if you have a, lo a large uh, load on the back, it's going to keep your trailer from from swaying back and forth. It's a good safety feature there. Another great safety feature that Toyota Tundra has come equipped with uh, is another optional uh, feature is the blind spot monitors, which if you were driving down the road, it's gonna help with, if you, you were looking in your side mirror, somebody's in your blind spot, if you decide to merge over, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look in your side mirror. 
The spot right here will be eliminated if there's somebody in your blind spot. Also, if you turn your blinker on to get on, it's going to actually going to flash and alert you so you can see a lot more clear. Uh, Toyota Tundra also comes standard now, the new generation, with LED daytime running lamps. On the interior of the truck, this is the Crew Max. It's the largest bed, uh, largest, excuse me, the largest cab in its segment. The rear room is phenomenal when it comes to uh, rear occupancy. You can, I can practically stretch out in this truck, and I'm 6'1". Also, one thing that they've redesigned on the new Toyota Tundra, which is actually based on customer feedback, um, the new seats will actually fold up rather than fold down, and they latch up top as well, which is going to give you a lot of room when you need to carry something in the back. On the Toyota Platinum, uh, on the Tundra Platinum, it's actually going to come equipped with the Platinum style badging right here. Also, you'll notice different than any other Tundra is the interior layout. It's going to have the quilted type look right there on the dash, on the door panels, and as well right here on the back of the seat with the platinum badging. One thing the Toyota Platinum, is, the Toyota Tundra Platinum will have, it will have heated and cooled uh, leather. Uh, the all new Toyota Tundra is actually uh, equipped with the new Intune. Toyota Intune style head unit. The head unit is actually three inches closer to the driver, uh, which allows just for another safety feature. If you are driving down the road, you don't run a swerve over into traffic if you, uh, you're trying to reach way over here. The Intune head unit, again, three inches closer to the driver uh, is a wonderful safety feature that they have, uh, that they have provided to the customers. They're also going to, um, the Toyota Tundra also has the new app suite on the Toyota Intune, which uh, they, have, they have added Facebook places and Yelp to the, app, uh, to the apps. The other apps that are included are going to be uh, the Bing Search, uh, Pandora, MovieTickets.com, OpenTable, and iHeartRadio. Um, all going to be tailored to the customer's needs and just preferences of what they uh, what they desire as far as their technology. Other technology on this vehicle, uh, it's gonna, of course going to have the navigation, full screen navigation. Now the home screen you can actually design differently according to the, uh, just tailored to the customer. This is a three panel customization that it has right now for your Bluetooth when your phone is connected for speed dials. Also your audio and then your navigation right here. Now one thing you can actually also set up differently under the setup, you can customize it however you want it, either a two panel or a three panel customization. You can actually also even put the weather in there as well so where it look like that. If you are driving um, say out of state and you were just curious what the uh, weather is going to be look like that day or the next day, you can even get a three day forecast just to show you what's going on in the next couple of days. Now on the Toyota Tundra, they're all, all going to uh, on the Toyota Tundra Platinum. It's also going to come with heated and cooled seats. Now the only Tundra trim levels that are going to have heated and cooled are going to be the 1794 edition, which is one scale up from the Platinum, um, and then the Platinum edition as well. Uh, let's see, the backup camera again also integrated in the head unit. It's also going to come standard on the Toyota Platinum with a JBL premium audio system. Um, also, the, um, what this is going to feature with on the Bluetooth, it's, it's going to come equipped with Bluetooth audio streaming. So you don't necessarily have to plug in your USB and auxiliary port uh, to your iPod or phone or whatever it may be. But you do still have the USB auxiliary port and the 12-volt charger right there, um, as well as over here and one in here. Uh, but you do have Bluetooth streaming capabilities, which is going to allow you to stream your music, um, every, everything wirelessly from your phone. Uh, on the steering wheel here, it's going to come on the right with your Bluetooth answering and hanging up. Um, also, your display, your multifunction display for your distance till empty, um, your, your elapsed time, average speed, um, and the average miles per gallon as well. Um, also, voice commands. And one thing that uh, Toyota integrated um, in the new generation uh, is something called Grace Note, which allows uh, just, it has to do with voice recognition. So I know everybody in Arkansas and wherever else, they have uh, different accents, if you'd call it. 
uh, what this what this is designed for you can actually right over here you can go to setup and you can train your voice you'll be given 10 short phrases and after each beat uh, you'll read back the phrase and that will better for better results it'll uh, just to recognize your voice it'll train your voice to the vehicle okay um, also over here it's going to have um, just different navigating through the uh, Intune head unit. Also volume controls and the radio mode here for AM, FM, Bluetooth audio, and Sirius XM satellite radio. The Toyota Tundra Platinum is also going to have a power, tilt, and telescopic steering wheel. This is going to be on, on your Platinum and your 1794. This right here a lot of people will wonder what this what this is when they come in. What this actually is, it will raise and lower your headlamps five different. There's five different levels of adjustment. So when you're towing and your bed is uh, pushed down and your uh, say your your headlights are are up a little, uh, you can actually lower the headlamps or you can raise them so where it doesn't blind the person in front of you. Um, right here on the Toyota Tundra Crew Max, it's going to have. A power sliding rear window which is going to go all the way down and up and this is just going to be this right here is going to be your lamp your headlamp for your uh, for your cab and then for the interior lighting in here this right here is your blind spot monitors again we covered that earlier um, blind spot monitors are going to help um, just, uh, or it's going to be illuminated in your side mirror for when you have somebody in your blind spot on the side. There's your mirror adjustments here and also on the Toyota Tundra Platinum and the 1794 is going to have your power folding side mirrors. Uh, one of the very important safety features uh, when it comes to towing on a half ton pickup is going to be the braking and the stopping capability. Uh, the Toyota Tundra, instead of the two piston brake caliper system most half ton trucks have, uh, it actually has a four piston caliper brake braking system. It's going to have two pistons on one side, two pistons on the other for maximum stopping power. And that's going to be on all four wheels. Um, that's something that you're going to have to normally go to on a, uh, on, I think, I believe a three quarter ton F series truck. Um, no other half ton truck has that on there. These come standard in all Toyota Tundras as well as the oversized brake rotors. The 4.3 gear ratio in the in the rear end uh, is very important when it comes to towing and hauling a heavy load. That's something that you're going to find in uh, F450 uh, rather than any other half ton, three quarter ton vehicle you would have to go to an F450. The 5.7 liter four wheel drive engine is going to come standard with that. Any 5.7 liter V8 engine for that matter is going to come standard with a 4.3 uh, rear end. Also, it's going to have a 10.5 inch oversized ring gear. Very important when it comes to durability for the rear end when it comes to towing if you really use your truck. I'm Chris Wilcher with Steve Landers Toyota and this has been an overview of the 2015 Toyota Tundra Platinum Edition.